Hi and welcome everyone. Today I want to show you how you can create a dynamic top five list of items from, for example, if you had a sales data that looks like this and you have a business question before you that you'd like to answer. Who are the top five best performing sales rep from the sales data that you have over here? Of course, you could write Excel formulas, but in this particular Example, I want to show you the simplest method that we could use to achieve this and that's by use of pivot tables. So assuming this is the data set that we'd like to use to create our dynamic top five sales rep, the first thing you need to do is to convert your range into what is called an Excel table. And to do that, you just point anywhere in the data set and on your keyboard, you press Ctrl T. And after you've done that, you'll get a pop-up of this little dialog box, which is actually pre-selecting for you the range of sales. And also you have to confirm whether your data set has column headers like it is for mine over here i have column headers date region sales rep item units unit cost and amount so i'll just go ahead and click ok and immediately after i've done that my range will be converted into an excel table so i'll go ahead and give this table a name let me call it sales data and i will turn off the filter buttons and there you go so to build your dynamic a top five sales rep from this sales data you just point anywhere in the data set click on the insert option and then you choose the pivot table option so when this dialog box opens now you need to declare where you actually want to build your report i will put it on this existing worksheet and uh, the real cell is this one over here i click ok and there you go i'll get a new a blank canvas over here this is the area that we are going to use to build our report let me just reduce on the size of this column and there you go so this is the pivot table field settings that we are going to use in building our report so i'll drag the sales rep uh, column into the rows and as soon as i do that you see the list of uh, sales rep generated over here then i'll go ahead and drag the amount into the values option this is how much each sales rep has actually made so i right click in this uh, report click on number format then i will say use a thousand separators show negative values in that format and there you go so now the next step is i want to know the top five sales reps so meaning i need to sort the amount from largest to smallest there you go and again, I need to apply a filter by just clicking on this drop down. And then I will say value filters and I choose top 10 option below here. And when this dialog box opens, I now need to put the number five. So I want to show the top five items by sum of amount. So I click OK and there you go. I only maintain five sales rep. So I can go ahead and make some few changes in my pivot table. I'll just change this column header to sales rep or this one actual sales and then i can go to the design options and turn off the run totals and there you go so this is the list of the top five performing sales rep and then let me also change the design of the pivot table i can just pick any design that looks more appealing so you can see that as of now jones is the best performing sales rep followed by jaden and the list goes on and on so because this is a dynamic report that updates every time new records come in into our data set, we shall go ahead and test that one. So I will create a new record. I'll insert a new row and then I start inputting the record. I'll put today's date. Then the region I'll say central. The sales rep name is Godfrey. He's selling pencils. He's selling let's say 10,000 units and the cost is of course uh, 3,000. So now that we've put in a new record and the figure you can see it really looks too high. So I only need to refresh this report and immediately after you do that you can now see the number one performing sales rep is now Godfrey. So if you found this one helpful, please don't forget to like, comment and share and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tips like this.